From the time she first held a tennis racket in her hand, there was little doubt Serena Williams was destined for greatness. Today at 27, she boasts 10 Grand Slam singles titles and two Olympic gold medals. With a recent win at the 2009 Australian Open, she once again reclaimed the number one world ranking. Today, I'll catch up with Serena as she bounces from tournament to photo shoot in Los Angeles, California at the W Hotel. Let's start from the beginning. You started tennis at such a young age. Your father first put a tennis racket in your hand. Can you tell me a little bit about how your dad has influenced your career? He just had so many visions and it's just, you know, it's helped my tennis career, but it's also helped my career in life to realize that it's important to have goals and it's important to have visions. Mm -hmm. I know that at age 10 or something, you had won something like 46 of the 49 tournaments that you had entered. At that age, is your memory of tennis more just fun or were you starting to realize, hey, I'm pretty good at this? Um, I ha always hated to lose. I never really, I guess I did start to realize that I was pretty good, but then there was this one girl that I always lost to and that's, I was so frustrated that I always lost her, but um, I always had fun out there. Now, today you currently have 10 Grand Slam singles titles, two gold medals, and the 2009 Australian Open. So that was your fourth time winning that tournament. What is one achievement that really sticks out in your head, maybe one of your most proud moments? Well, honestly, my most proud moment is not on the tennis court. Um, it was when I opened the Serena Williams Secondary School in Kenya, because what happened was I was looking at some pictures and I saw these kids riding in the dirt with pit with sticks, and that's how they did their math problems. And you know, and I just did this, you know, four months ago, and I went there and we we put a building up and we put a school up and we had HP computers there and it was like a whole computer lab and you know there's not a lot of money in you know these areas so. They had a chance to be on the internet, and I thought with their being able to get an education, then they will be able to open doors for their future and their kids and their kids. And so it's starting so young to try to change the chain of things. And when we cut the ribbon on that, I knew right then and there it was better than winning. And I thought about it. I said literally in my mind, I said this is better than winning any Grand Slam ever. Let's talk a little bit about the Australian Open. Um, we talked about your winning and the tennis side of it, but. I know that it was super hot, like in the mid 90s. And tell me a little bit, how do you stay focused? No, it was when in the mid hundreds. It was, it was mid hundreds, like even worse. Five degrees. Um, how do you stay focused in that kind of heat? Um, I don't know. It's just like you just get so hot. It's just like Can you want to just. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, come here, honey. You can't play right now. Mommy's working. If you want to eat, then you have to let mom work. Can you, you, can can you introduce girl, me to your you. two dogs? Oh, this is, that's Jackie. Hi, Jackie. And this is Laura. Laura's young, and she was just playing now. And I need her to be quiet, because she's a little girl. Oh, I think they can hang out. Let's look at Jackie. Jackie wants to be in the limelight. Oh, yeah, <laughs> She's Jackie, a star. She is. So tell me about maybe some advice that you've learned along the way that you could share with young tennis players. Well, my advice is to always be happy and to enjoy what you do. And that's not only on the tennis court, but in life as well. You have to enjoy what you do because it makes you that much better at it. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. I'm so glad that I got a chance to meet you. Oh, thank you. It was nice to meet you, too. You, too. Good to meet you. Thank you. I'm glad I got to meet Jackie and Laura, too. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs>